Today's episode is Blood Projectiles. Ooh. But then it would just be kind of like... <gasps> Just go straight through the chest. Yep. I was really excited for blood projectiles going in. A, because Alan, using his 3D printer, made some gorgeous projectiles. They're, they're geometric, but still kind of globular, and they, they look absolutely beautiful. I, I didn't really want to destroy all of them. I think there's still one around here that I'm going to keep forever. And it, it just worked. There wasn't a whole lot of troubleshooting. Uh, they fit in the barrel of the air gun that I made. Behold, the air cannon of doom! Oh, it's beautiful. Air gun held pressure. Uh, there was a little bit of leaking, but nothing that you know made it not work. I, I, it was by far the best day that we had. I put uh, little fins on the blood projectiles to sort of try and keep them flying straight because a big concern that we had was that they would kind of like flip and then hit our dummy just like sideways, which is you know no good. Uh, and every single projectile that we fired ended up flying true. I don't know if it was the fins or if they just worked out, you know, going straight just because they were going so fast and we were relatively close to the target, but uh, they, they, you could not have asked for a better result. Perfect. The ballistics heads and torsos that we're using are made with something called ballistics gel. And what that is, it's a substance that is made to emulate human flesh. The ballistics gel torso of doom! Oh! That was nice. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that was a good lineup. If you shoot it or stab it or you know, any kind of an impact injury, it should mimic kind of what would happen uh, to a real person so you can see what kind of damage it would cause. Yeah. So this is three meters. Ish. Yeah, so, so tenth of a tenth second. Of a second. <laughs> yeah. Funk. Everyone will clear for this shot behind the curtain. Sure. Just in excess of safety. Um, when we shoot the iron, we will clear the building. So be ready for that. One thing you don't want to take any chances on is safety. So just to make sure that nothing goes wrong, we're firing what is effectively a slow bullet. We have asked everyone involved with the production, more, more people than you think, to leave the building. Those spikes are actually traveling, you know, about as fast as like a, a fastball. So you imagine a really great pitcher throwing a ball instead of a ball, it's a blood projectile. You don't imagine it doing much damage. And that's pretty much what we saw. The blood projectile did go into the dummy, but it was about an inch. Like, it, you know, it, that guy's having a bad day, but he's not necessarily dead. Uh, versus the uh, steel projectile, which I'm pretty sure would clear all the way through if, there's not, if there was not any kind of wood backing. We did not get the kind of damage that we see in the game. Nope. So how can we ramp this up until we do? Uh, well, I think I've got just the thing right here. This is the same hollow plastic case that we use for the blood projectile. Okay, so consistency. Only instead of being filled with a blood analog, this has been filled with a mixture of epoxy resin and steel powder. <laughs> what we decided to do was remove some of that protection from the dummy and see if we could get all the way through the torso because it looked like to me that almost none of the force was going into going through the dummy. Me and Kyle are saying, oh yeah, if the wood hadn't been here, it would have gone through. So I think we have to kind of keep the same pressure as the previous one. Three, two, one. Alan and I figured out that that gun and this projectile is about 75% the energy of an actual gun. So if Scarlet is doing anything like this in her fatality, it would definitely mess an opponent up. Momentum, velocity, force, how those change, how those affect the human body. What are the basic things that we can teach? So we wanna be as accurate as possible, but not perfect and never wrong. Because if we're wrong, we're not actually teaching anyone anything and we're being disingenuous and that's that's exactly what we don't want to do. I don't want people to know how much worse I am in real life. That we're terrible yes. ogres. Yes. Ogre men. Well, speak for yourself, but right. yes. I'm, no, yeah, I'm, terrible I'm, ogre man right here. Yes. Sorry. I have better Sorry. hair. 
This ballistics gel doesn't even have skin or clothes on. Right now? Yeah. $200,000, that's it? I take it here for $200,000. That's how, that's how secure I feel about taking this to the chest. Catch the full episode on Nerdist.com.